Hello, and welcome to your latest Daily Energy Report. I'm Ben Lack. The U.S. Department of Energy's Oak Ridge National Laboratory has awarded a contract to Cray to increase the Jaguar supercomputer science impact and energy efficiency. The upgrade, which will provide advanced capabilities in modeling and simulation, will transform the DOE Office of Science-supported Cray XT5 system, which is currently capable of 2.3 million billion calculations per second, into a Cray XK6 system with a peak speed between 10 and 20 petaflops. The new system will employ the latest AMD Opteron central processing units as well as NVIDIA Tesla graphics processing units. The last phase of the upgrade is expected to be completed in late 2012. The system, which will be known as Titan, will be ready for users in early 2013. ORNL is managed by UT Battelle for the Office of Science. Cooper Lighting has upgraded its outdoor LED light bar technology. The new system's unmatched optical performance delivers improved lumen output and efficiency while continuing to offer up to 75% in energy savings over traditional high-intensity discharge outdoor lighting sources. Cooper Lighting's light bar technology features the company's patented AccuLead Optics, which sets the industry benchmark for reliable photometric performance, scalability, and energy efficiency. The system's unique applica application, specific design, allows lumen and energy output to be customized to fulfill the exact needs of the outdoor space, thus eliminated wasted energy and obtrusive spill light. Array Technologies has sent the first shipment of solar tracking systems for the 50-megawatt photovoltaic project in southern Sacramento County, California. Recurrent Energy has developed the project for Sacramento Municipal Utility District. Array Technologies is providing horizontal, single-axis trackers and ground mount racks for the project. Recurrent Energy selected Swinerton Renewable Energy as the EPC for the project. That's your Daily Energy Report. To learn about these stories and more, please visit us at dailyenergyreport.com and also make sure to check out our podcast on iTunes. For the Daily Energy Report, I'm Ben Lack. Thanks for watching.